one of our uh, icon clients uh, had owned this uh, CJ since it was brand new and uh, it's a 1982 CJ7 it was really in great original shape it only had about what is it about 17,000 original miles on it when we got it but it turns out the reason the miles were so low is the guy just had no love for its acceleration, its steering, its braking, its handling, its ergonomics, and on and on and on. So he pretty much hid it in a uh, warehouse and just kept it all these years. And then once he became familiar with our brand, he proposed sending the truck out to us and said, you know, I really want to kind of stay true to the original designs and, and ethics of it, but uh, kind of had an affinity for, you know, what we do, which is sort of marry the more uh, contemporary engineering and uh, design approach and just kind of clean up the aesthetics a little bit, get rid of all the gacky decals and custom color and stuff like that, and then kind of look to reinventing the mechanical layout of the truck. So, you know, starting with such a great virgin condition CJ um, project went really well for us. And what we basically did was uh, gut the original drivetrain um, and the original axles and the original electrical system and the seating and the like and uh, just kind of reduced it to the original shell form and then had at it. So we put in a conservative displacement uh, LS fuel injected V8 that's probably tracking about 295 horsepower. We made it that to an AX15 Ace and Warner 5-speed manual tranny to uh, updated MP231 transfer case. We put Dynatrack axles with full hill disc brakes on it, upgraded the suspension. It's still ecliptic leaf, but uh, sort of you know, a more well thought through system. We used the Icon uh, American Racing ATX Teflon coated rims. We fabbed uh, custom uh, side sliders and uh, put some of our favorite aftermarket bumper systems. And then uh, the color uh, we really like. It was client choice. We kind of went round and round to figure out what to do and came up with this kind of cool color. It changes in the lights. So it goes from like a really dark eggplant uh, to being a bit more vibrant and direct sun. We put the Icon CJ style uh, mil spec uh, diode taillights and the LED headlights, um, painless wiring system, upgraded the seats with uh, the Icon seating with uh, uh, kind of a variation of the Chilovich textile we use in Icon. We left the vintage underdash AC system by design, but replaced it with all new components, replaced all the weather stripping, upgraded all the hardware to stainless steel. We polyurea coated the underside of the body tub and the inside of the fenders and floors of the cabin prior to reassembly. We added some of these tough utility boxes, which double as speaker housings and storage. And then underneath that tuck and tumble updated rear bench with uh, a headrest. We fit uh, Tuffy's kind of cool hidden drawer system for uh, even more cargo space. It took us a while to chase all the rattles out of all that stuff, though. It ended up being a bit of a hidden challenge. So the Tuffy console up front as well, and uh, that hides uh, the carbon fiber seat heat elements as well as the audio system and iPod interface. Gauges are all interfaced to the new GM drivetrain, uh, with the goal being of them still having a stock aesthetic and hiding all the electronics in the case within. The only gauge we actually ended up having to replace was the tachometer due to the pulse generated by this versus the original Chrysler stuff. Headliner, we uh, used the original form and uh, replaced it with uh, it's kind of like an ultra suede. It's the same stuff that uh, Mercedes uses in the G-Wagon and uh, Caddy uses in the Escalade and Lamborghini uses. It's Good, durable, but has like a, a nice unique surface texture. Speaking of textures, we left the original pebble grain on the fiberglass roof as designed by Jeep. But to kind of break up the monotony of the exterior, we went ahead and restyled it uh, with a matte clear coat, so it kind of breaks it. Door panels were all hand-fabbed, uh, kind of a stock feel, but uh, on the marine board and uh, Mercedes OEM vinyl and chillowish panels. So this is kind of off the beaten path for us. Um, one of the sort of, you know, we do a fair amount of one-off projects. Uh, basically clients have cars that they're enamored with that uh, they want to revisit in a modern sense. This fits the bill, so here we are and here it is.
And, you know, we're doing all sorts of weird one-offs, ranging from vintage Power Wagon M37, 52 DeSoto Station Wagon, 52 Chevy Businessman's Coupe, uh, 1960s uh, Aston Martin V12 uh, powered uh, DB4 Zagato convertible recreation, all sorts of weird stuff. So thanks for looking. Hope you dig it.